This is an introductory lesson for new Blender users in the use of soft body physics. And this is a this is a soft body, and you can use this type of physics, or you can sometimes use the uh, you can go within the game engine, and you can use the physics within there and bring those back into Blender Render. But in this case, we're just going to use the soft body in order to generate this effect. And let's see if let me find this over here. Um, and it kind of looks like cloth, but it's actually not a cloth object. All right, so I'll just run through the whole setup t together from the beginning, except for the lighting and stuff like that. All right, so I'll stop this for a second. I'll just let's oops, let me get it so you can see the whole display. Turn off that guy. Oops, and get my cursor back like that. All right, so I'll just delete that from scratch. And I'll delete that because those are really the important things. And I'll just set it up from the beginning. So you see how it's done. So first thing I do, I hit Shift A. I add a plane. All right, so where is he? He must be, oh, there he's below the surface. I'll hit the R button. I'll rotate him on the X axis. Oh, say like that. And then S, scale him down to size. I'll move him over, grab the red arrow, move him up like this here. And this is going to be my force here. So I'll go into the physics button right here, physics. I'll set a force field, click down here, make it wind, and I'll see if it's pointing in the right direction by changing the strength. Oh, so it's pointing in the wrong direction. So I hit RX, flip him around like that. So now I have a wind facing in this direction. So now I want an object to blow it again. So I'll use the cube in this sense. So I'll start it over here. Add a cube to the scene. He's below the surface, I see. So I'll raise him up, scale him, scale him down, and then let's see. Deselect all the vertices here for a second. Let's see where I want to go here, and then I'm going to uh, just grab this. And maybe I'll just grab the top set. That'd be easier since I can see it like this. B, grab the top set, E to extrude Z axis. Extrude him, I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. Hitting the Z key, so now I have something to work with. So now, I'm back in object mode. I'll just move him back down here, and I'll place him in front of the wind force. Okay, and then I'm just going to scale him down a little bit, like that, move him down like that. So we kind of have him set in the scene like this, maybe move him over. So then uh, if I hit Alt-A, it really won't do anything yet. The wind's blowing, but it's not really affecting this object, so I need to turn him into a soft body. but. This is what typically happens. You'll start a soft body, you run the animation, and it always does this bouncing around. It's like, well, that's not really what we want. So what I want to do is make it work like the other one. I don't want these vertices to move, so I need to pin them down. And if I go into weight paint mode right now, like this, you can see everything is solid blue. It means all the vertices within this object are basically free to move. If it was red, it would be pinned down. So I'll just go back into object mode and show you how we do this. So within here, you need to go this button right here, which is object data. You go into object data, and you need a new vertex group. So uh, I'll give it a name. I'll call it VG1, vertex group 1. And then you can set the values within the vertex group. Well, there's nowhere to set it, and that's because you have to be in edit mode in order to set it. You notice when I pop in and out of edit mode, you can see the numbers show up. So it says everything is set currently has a weight of zero and that equates to that dark blue like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just change these top set of vertices to have a different weight. I'm going to turn the weight all the way on which will pin them down so it'll be a weight of one. The way to do it, I'll turn them all off for a second. I'll select all these guys up here. I'll change it to a weight of one. And then once you do, you have to assign it. All right, now once we've assigned it, if you look at it in weight paint mode, now you can see it's solid red. And then this guy, the rest of it are blue. So let's try a little bit more. Let's go back into uh, 
edit mode again and we'll do it with these other ones as well I'll just change these a little bit so I'll turn them all off grab these um, make sure they're all set there's a way to actually do it so you can select the back side as well but I don't have that set right now and then I want to give these guys a different weight maybe I'll make him point eight and I'll assign those I'll turn those off grab the next set like this whoops got that one down there didn't mean to get that spin him around find those guys yep get him too there's all kinds of ways to grab vertices and I'll make him say 0.5 and assign those and then the last set down here I'll turn those off make sure I grab all these as well and I'll make that say 0.2 and I'll assign those alright so now when we go into weight paint mode you can see let's go look at it from the other side so you can see the colors better in the light alright so now you can see the reds pinned down right blues all the way unpinned and free to roam and now when we uh, let's also run the animation again real quick and see what happens well it still gives us the same effect that's not really what we want but that's because now when you select this object here and you have to go back into the physics panel where your soft body is set and then down here under vertex group you have to pick the vertex group and select which vertex group you want to use so that's set and then these other uh, adjustments can come into play but let's just run it like this for a second because we can change this just by let's see okay so it, so now it is running through so let's change our goal a little bit and I can see the wind is a little bit too strong for this as well so I'm going to slow that wind way down oops it's in reverse doesn't need to be very strong and then that kind of gives you an idea no that kind of looks rough right to an extent well in part that's because there's not enough vertices so I'm just gonna click the whole thing I'll go into uh, edit mode I'll just select everything and I'm gonna subdivide it a couple times it can handle it alright and then we'll look back in weight paint mode and now let's run it you can see the effect now let's go get the wind I'm sometimes hard to grab those things from the other side and let's crank up the wind a little so now you can really mess with the uh, the goals and the edges and the quads these are here you go hang on and this really just comes down to finding what works for you can't really get this one down to an exact sign chip but it does but setting the vertex group is really the most important thing let's see let's see the quads let's see if it happens if we set the quad stiff yeah it must have maybe I missed one on the bottom there this guy feels like it's kinking up that just me might be my let's try the stiffness way down there well, there we go he's just kind of floating in the wind like that well I think that gives you an idea is what to do and then you can adjust the settings like we did the, in the animation uh, when we first came up and then I had also set a rotation to the object just to get that earlier effect but um, that's really the important thing is making sure you set the vertex groups and the, uh, or the vertices for each one and then you set it in here alright well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson